Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lostistan in the uh, Soviet Republic with workers and resources. Yeah, uh, okay, so last time around uh, we were getting this uh, this operation set up over here. And there's a few details we need to sort out here before we can uh, finalize everything. One of them is power supply, uh, but another one is going to be... Oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah, uh, is going to be getting workers from the uh, bus stop here up to here. Uh, so uh, the first one I'm going to deal with is uh, the, uh, the workers, because I think we can do that with some simple pathing. Um, I think if we just run a path down this way, uh, yeah. I think if we just do this, uh, we get most of this uh, sorted out. So if we do that too. Okay, now if we go back on the bus stop. Yeah, now we get all the way up to the asphalt plant and the uh, concrete uh, thing. Uh, right, we, we get up to pretty much everything, right? Uh, so if we, uh, yeah, we can make it sl no, we don't need to do that. Um, right. Oh yeah. We need to, uh, bring it across like this too. Right. Okay. I think that gets us everything. Yeah, it does. Okay. So we're good there. Uh, we just need to make sure we have, uh, you know, buses bringing, uh, uh, workers in here. Yeah. Which we do. Uh, not enough of them, but we do. Uh, okay, so we have that. Uh, then we need power. Uh, so we're going to stick a uh, substation in um, right here. Um, right, so that will uh, cover off pretty much everything up there. Uh, and just so that we can get... Uh, uh, power up there with minimal fuss. We're going to go underground. Uh, just like that. Build it. Okay. Uh, now we have power up here, which means all this business uh, has, uh, has our uh, operations here. Now, this is our uh, importing thing. Uh, now, we need... Uh, we need a... Uh, open, covered, right. Uh, wait, what can I do here for the... Uh... Oh, what I can do uh, here, we've got a, uh, a parking space here, so... I can run a uh, direct line. Okay. No, no. We uh, we need to go down here. Um, yeah. Okay. So we buy and we need to uh, dry bulk. Yeah. So cement. Um, yeah. Okay. So if we... Uh, we're going to run two of those trucks uh okay and we're gonna go here uh, we're gonna go load here unload here and this is gonna wait until unloaded with cement and this is gonna wait until loaded with cement yeah wait and we're gonna go here and this is gonna be uh Soviet chums cement import. Okay. And then we're going to do this and we're going to apply it to this other one. Good. And then we just launch those. Good. Now we don't need to import uh, bitumen because uh, we actually, um, all related vehicles we actually have uh, bitumen production, right? So 
uh, we can grab it from here and just hump it over to here. But you know, I could probably do that with a pipeline. It'd be a bit of a dawdle to do, but I could probably do it with a pipeline. Okay. Well, if you're going to do it with a pipeline, how are you going to going to swing that? Well, uh, so we go in here, uh, right, and we grab one of these. Uh, you know what? No, you're not going to do that. You're going to use trucks for that or something. Um, what's this? Oil, fuel, loading, unloading. That's a train. Uh, okay. Well, what if we were to put a... Uh, we go over here. We go over here. Uh, do we have oil, fuel? Is that That's the truck station. Okay. Uh, right. In that case, can we shove it in here? No. Uh, we can shove it in here, though. Wait, no. That's a pumping station. Right. Um, wait. Oh, if I switch that pumping station... Oh, yeah. Well, that... Uh, that's clearly the thing we need to do. Uh, okay. So if we uh, bomb that out. Uh-huh. Right. And we go uh, here. And we... Well, we do this. And this. Uh, yep. Yeah. Then we can take a single uh, input uh, pump, right, and uh, use that. Right, okay, and then if we grab this, we can do this, this, okay, build that. Um, build this. Uh, build this. Okay. Now let's uh, let's go look at what's on fire. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, that's a thing. Okay. Now we need this, do we? Um. which we can put right here, right, uh, build that, build that, and then we go over here, and we can do this. Too sharp of a turn. What? No. Uh, okay. Well, that's clearly not the way to build that. Okay, so if we do it from the other direction, right. Other infrastructure in the way. Okay. Um, right. What if we did this above ground? Okay, so we could do this, up a couple, over, and then we can come over here, and we can come around and do that. Okay, now, if we, okay, so we've done that. Okay. Good. The 
It has no connection. Okay, so we go here, here, right. What does it mean it has no connection? Uh, so we go out. Okay. Um, out. Oh, it's not connected. That's why. Okay. Well, that would do it. Really? Um, no. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I see. Uh, right. Underground. Let's just uh, take that out. Uh, we'll go back to an underground pipe. Uh, okay. Uh, we come around like this. And we do this. Build it. Uh, okay. Now, this should say it has a connection. Right. Okay. Now we can uh, grab uh, over here. Uh, where where did we stash it? Over here. We can buy. Uh, where is it? Uh, this is going to be oil tank. Um, total capacity. Yeah. We'll, we'll use one of those. Um, because we have one delivery parking thing at the, at the, uh, thing, right? Yeah, I think we do. Okay. But we, um, let's just, let's run two on there. Uh, okay, no. Wait, what? No. Uh, okay, good, right, we need this, uh, okay, so we go from here, we pick up here, and we drop off here, okay, so we're going to pick up bitumen, full load, and then we're going to go here, and we're going to do a full load, unload a bitumen, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to call this uh, uh, Soviet Chums Asphalt Bitumen Supply. Uh, yeah, okay. Right? Save it. Apply it to the other truck. Launch them. Yep, okay. So over here, we have uh, cement. Uh, we have cement. And we're building up a buffer. Now, the whole reason I'm doing these buffers, these storages here, these buffers, is so that if we have a large cement or asphalt demand, we'll have uh, we'll have the uh, uh, raw materials there to uh, support the uh, production. So we don't get uh, as many cases of a, uh, say, a cement truck with 0.5 tons of concrete or something. Right. Um... Right, okay. So this is going to uh, fill up eventually. Um, right, okay. Now I think I should probably 
Uh, take one truck off the bitumen export for now. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'll find that under lines, right? Bituminous exports. You. Are going where? Um, where are you? Oh. Well, we should probably wait until load is. Yeah. And then... No. Uh, what we should do is uh, clear clear the line. Um, wait, what? Okay, so bituminous exports. Uh, we should probably wait until loaded. Yeah. Save. Right. Okay. And then this one. Um... Right. Well, I should send that to the uh, here, right? And then take it off the line. Okay. Now, uh, here, we probably need more workers. Probably. Uh, right. Um... Okay. Right. Yeah, we probably need more workers down here. Now, uh, do we have uh, a surplus of workers here? We do, kind of. Which means we could increase the workers supply here um yeah we could do that uh okay uh right now our input yeah we definitely have uh have a demand for more workers here that would be uh that would definitely be useful. Um, how are the these guys? Right. Unable to get clothes. Right. Okay. Okay, we don't have enough teachers. That's part of the problem. Now up here... Well, we are educating people, so there's that. Uh, what if we reduce that just a little bit? Yeah, so we do that. There's less demand up there. Uh, okay, now, 
over here we have full bitumen in the asphalt plant and we're building up a supply there okay this is good what this uh, should mean is that now uh, we're in a situation where we should be able to uh, do uh, our fire destroyed a building what got destroyed meat storage we'll rebuild it right okay uh, right so what we also need uh, obviously uh, is another fire station uh, fire station. I think maybe we should stick one, I don't know, over here? Maybe over here. Yeah, how about over here? Uh, okay. Now. Um, right. Okay, now let's uh, go down here. Uh, okay, here. We need some mechanisms here so we can actually, uh, uh, you know, build things, right? So what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need a couple of those. We're going to need, uh, say, a couple of those. Uh, we're going to need... say a couple four of those we're gonna need uh, a few of those um, you know what we'll just chuck in a couple of pavers a couple of rower rollers a uh, couple couple tower cranes uh, maybe a road crane or two. Yeah. Um, we'll add in a couple buses too. Uh, the micro buses should be enough here. Uh, that they do, that one does 90, 90. Yeah. Add a couple of those. Um, we don't need excavators because we have those in the other uh, other Dewey. Um, right. Okay. So I think we probably want a couple more open haul trucks. Yep. Okay. Now uh, what we're gonna do also is go find our fuel distributors. Yeah, and we're going to add our uh, con uh, construction office to that. Uh, right, okay. Um, good. That should... Uh, uh, oh, um... Actually, I should... Oh, we got dumper... Okay. Now, we should be fine there. Are you actually doing anything? You're not assigned to anything. Oh. If we do this, will it be assigned to something? Uh... Yes. Okay. Um, right. It's going to do something. Uh, it occurs to me that we might want to add a uh, shortcut road. Something like this. Yeah, we might want to. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, all vehicles, what's happening? We got a dumper coming. Uh, okay.
Right. So we'll uh, we'll see what. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to pick up some gravel. And drop it in there. Yep. And we got a micro bus uh, that's going to collect uh, some uh, workers from the place. Which is way too... Oh. Oh. Okay, I need another uh, shortcut through here. Uh, like that. Okay. Right. Well, I think we can uh, safely say we're at the point where we can start... Uh, start constructing stuff the hard way uh, now here we've got workers we're uh, flattening things out and then uh, uh, take a few uh, work days and that will get some things going now once we've got all of this going uh, we can start paving some roads as well and uh, you know that that will certainly uh, help some things Right. I do like that, at least in this version of uh, the Soviet Republic, the, um, slow, the slower vehicles actually, like if you've got an open bit of road, uh, the faster vehicles will pass slower vehicles. It's kind of nice to see that. Um, this bit here, ah, right, uh, that's just about done. Yep. Uh, okay, good. We are uh, we are making some sort of uh, progress on things. Uh, that's uh, that's actually really cool. Uh, right. So we're producing our own gravel. Uh, we've got a bunch of it stored up. Uh, we've got all of that uh, jazz going on here. Right. Good. Now, I think there's uh, one more thing that we can probably do, uh, which would be, I think, uh, producing cement directly. Yeah. Over here, hmm, yeah, I think I'll want, uh, I'll want to do uh, some additional specialization on uh, construction offices so that we can have uh, excavators uh, and dozers uh, all delivered by, uh, by, uh, mecha by, by truck you know, deliver the mechanisms by truck, right? Uh, and that uh, obviously will um, uh, uh, will improve throughput of things as well. Of course, when these little bits of roads here are up, that's going to uh, improve the uh, transport network. Uh, new vehicle. Okay. New vehicle. Yeah. Uh, traffic jam. Where? I don't see one. Uh, we ha The fire destroyed a building. We already dealt with that one. A building was on fire. Yeah, okay. Traffic jam. No. Traffic jam. No. Fire was extinguished. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So far, so good. Right. These uh, bits of road are just about done.
Yeah, we definitely needed a uh, crossover road there. Now this is a fire station. Well, now it covers everything. So that was the problem then. Now we'll, we'll build the second fire station anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that anyway. Uh, right. Okay, we've got a road there. Uh, this is just about done. Right, so that's the nice thing about gravel roads as well. They uh, don't require any actual people labor to build. Uh, your uh, dozers or excavators can do it without any uh, people involved. Um, yeah, uh, so that's just about done. There we go. Now we can get around from here up to here. Uh, right. Now, how is... Uh, how is everything doing here? Uh, kindergarten. Um, uh, okay. Uh, there's one over here. Right. Um, that's a pool. Yeah. That's a hospital. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where's the school? School. We might need another school. Or we just need some educated people. That, uh, that might be it too. Right. Uh, okay, so how are uh, things progressing here? We're delivering things. Uh, right. Well, this is going to uh, finish reasonably quickly. What's that? That's the import operations. Uh, right. Um, what are you? Road cranes. Huh. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, so you definitely want cranes uh, if you're going to be building things. Uh, because that uh, makes... Uh, you, you may notice that some of these buildings have ridiculous work days numbers, right? And the, uh, the machines, the cranes... Uh, can substantially reduce the number of work days any particular uh, construction needs. Well, not so much reduce the number, but rapidly reduce the uh, the number remaining. Uh, it's a, it's a, a labor multiplier, right? So uh, that can uh, substantially uh, improve construction speed. Uh, so if you've been uh, building uh, stuff by hand and it's taking you uh, game years to build something like a university and uh, you know that um, if you don't have any cranes that'll be why uh, like we're getting away here with 10 or 15 workers on site you know bring bring them in with the micro buses right uh, and uh, the uh, construction is going reasonably quickly here uh, right, so we've got, uh, yeah, 15 workers. And we're counting down a uh, pretty rapid pace there. Traffic jam. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. I think overall uh, we're in pretty good shape here uh, as far as all of this, uh, this operation goes, right? Uh, this is absolutely uh, a horrible mess, right? But it's also 
going to work. And uh, well, it is working, right? Uh, okay, so uh, we're, I'm, I'm going to run it until the uh, fire station completes. I'll uh, chuck in some fire trucks. And uh, once we've done that, uh, we should be good. Uh, as we're in range of the uh, this thing here. Yep. So uh, we should end up with workers coming in there uh, from the regular uh, worker transport line. Might need to add a bus to the worker transport line. Maybe I should do that too. Um, right. There we go. Uh, we'll go in here and we'll speed 10, 4. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, good. Building is without power supply. Really? Uh, okay, so uh, where is it? Here. Uh, we can go related vehicles uh, line. Uh, yeah, there's just uh, it's a FZK A07 microbus, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, now uh, we, oh yeah, we need to go in here. Uh, so we'll go in here uh, we'll go for bus, bus, uh, we'll buy, we'll buy a couple of them, yeah, close that, uh, we will add the line to them, uh, start them, uh, right, okay, that should, uh, that should get more, uh, workers out this way, um, uh, Temperature in building is too low. Uh, do we have a, he a heating plant anywhere? We've got to. Where, where, where's the... Yeah, it's got to be somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need a heat exchanger over here as well. Uh, okay. Well, that will be a project for the next uh, next time. Um, sorting out some infrastructure over here. Yeah. Uh, now, it uh, it occurs to me, yeah, like these fire stations may be redundant. But what it does mean is if one of them fails for some reason, the other one can still operate. And I think that's going to be important later when we're making our paved roads. Because we're going to end up blocking them off, one of them off, uh, while we're paving the road into there, right? So, anyway, that's uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be everything uh, for for the moment here. Uh, so I'll put the cut in, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess uh, um. You can like and comment and subscribe if you if you want, or you can click a dislike. You know that that's cool too. You know, uh, and then the bell thing may or may not give you some sort of useful notifications. I've heard tell that it might. Yeah, up to you, of course. Anyway, uh, see you back next time.